Water to Support Autism Awareness Month. On May 4th, there is a 5K water walk in Goodyear. For more information on this fun event, go to MinotaurTribune.com. The Spirit Store is having a clearance sale on April 24th from 3 to 7 p.m. What does that even mean? I got the horses in the back. The back of what? A trailer or like the back of like their house or like? I think that he means he got the horses in the back of his horse. Like, he's like, I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm gonna ride. Oh, okay. So he does have him in the trailer because like he's going to the Old Town Road. Yeah. Okay. Mary Poppins is coming to Odyssey. The dates to come see the show are Thursday, April 25th at 7, Friday, April 26th at 6.30, and Saturday, April 27th at 1.30 and at 6.30. I'm sure all of you guys know that people are running for Stugo. Um, so we will be voting in Breakfast Club on the 30th. It will be a Google form with the candidates, and you will also be shown their videos during that time frame as well. And the newly elected officers will be announced on May 1st. Do you guys want immediate arrest? Because I know I do. If you want it, you can go on to Minotaur Tribune right now. Right? Right now? Yeah. Okay. You can go on to Minotaur Tribune right now and pre-order it for only $12. Hey, are you going to the yearbook signing party? When is it? What time? From, if you have infant studies aid period, then you can go. But if not, you have to wait to after school. But it ends at 6. There's going to be pizza and drinks for sale, and then also Kona Ice. I mean, you know, Kona, say, <laughs> Kona Ice is pretty good. There's games. also going to be games, too. Oh, for real? I'll probably go. Yeah, and then after that, there's going to have the meeting <laughs> of the arts. So what time? Until 8.30. Oh, okay. Cool. Bye. <laughs> I've become very, very interested in the idea of playing in games that have no finish lines. Right? Some games have finish lines. Right? Baseball, football, right? Um, um, getting a part is a finish line. You audition, there's a beginning, middle, and end. There's rehearsal and practice. There's uh, 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 showing up for the audition, and you either win or you lose, and then it's over. It's over, right? That is finite. But one's career is infinite. There's, there's no end. It's like our lives are finite, but life is infinite. People come and people go, but life continues. Right? Theater. Actors come and actors go, but theater continues. It's infinite. You don't win theater. You win a part, but what happens once you get the part? The, 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 the finite game is over. Now you enter the infinite game. You have to be able to convert. Right? And the reason this is important, and I've seen this unfortunately so many times, from a young age, all you wanted to do was get to Broadway. And then you get to Broadway. And then what? You've devoted your entire life to one finite goal, and when you get there, the immediate response is depression. Because I, I spent 15 years of my life for this one thing, and I got it, and now I don't know what to do next. Like, what a, a no, get to Broadway again! doesn't have the same ambition. <laughs> it doesn't have the same passion. You know, that you've devoted your, you're from, you know, you're from Fargo, North Dakota, and that's all you wanted to do was get out of Fargo and make it to Broadway, and you made it, right? It doesn't have the same kind of passion. And this is because these are finite goals. There's a lot of uh, studies that have been done with athletes who have finite goals to become the greatest X in the world, right? So Andre Agassi was one of, these, one of these athletes. He wanted to become the greatest tennis player that ever lived. Guess what? Everyone in his life, he would, he would view them through, how do you help me get to that? Everything was, how does this help me get to that? Everything was a transaction. To how, how do you help me move to there? And then you know what happens? He achieved it. He became the greatest tennis player in the world. And you know what happened immediately after? Depression. Michael Phelps set out to become the most medaled Olympian in history. Do you know what? He achieved it. Do you know what happened immediately after? Depression. They spend their whole life working for one goal, though most will never get it. The few that do don't know what to do next because their goals were finite. 
their goals were finite. Right? And so there are finite components to your career. But your career should be infinite. So yes, of course you have to win the finite game. You have to get the part. But immediately when you get the part, now you convert to infinite. So what is leadership? That's the million dollar question. I don't think anybody should be called a leader. In any moment, you are either, you're either embodying the qualities of someone that people want to follow, or you're not. Leading is a verb. And when someone is leading, they're sourcing themselves regardless of their status, regardless of their position, from a generous and generative place. They are putting others' self-interest above their own. And that is love. Leadership is love. So, what do you think it takes to be a good leader? Teachers, will you help your scholars create a list of leadership qualities? Scholars, what should we look for in a leader for student government? Will you decide who to vote for?